If you're familiar with Guillermo del Toro's works like Pan Labyrinth, Hellboy and Kronos, you will know his penchant for horror and fantasy as a metaphor. His latest venture, The Shape of Water, is no different. Uh, del Toro has in this country a beautiful concoction of magical realism into ultimate romantic melodrama with exquisite storytelling. It was nominated in 11 co categories at the Oscars and it won the Best Picture and the Best Director category. The Shape of Water, in essence, delves into the life of um, uh, Eliza Esposito, played brilliantly by Sally Hawkins. The backdrop is set in the 1960s during the post-Cold War era between, you guessed it, the US and Russia. Who else, right? So, um, in Shape of Water, it's all about um, the unusual friendship that exists between Eliza and this creature, which was extracted from the rivers of Amazon from South America and brought to the facility, the Occam facility in the US, um, where uh, Eliza incidentally works. Now to me, the shape of water speaks about universal love. It speaks of the generosity of the human spirit, which extends beyond the central characters. It speaks of the largeness of heart, um, of the apparent misfits within our social construct and the support system they provide each other. It also speaks about the right fight. You know, sometimes we are drawn into it between um, the right to exist of another being, no matter how different they are, maybe from us. In essence, it speaks about the love that can exist in the strange, loveless times that we exist. Now, my eight point something about the shape of water. Uh, number one, Sally Hawkins. She's absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, how she manages to to touch our hearts as a mute without, you know, even saying a single, without so much as even saying a single word is brilliant. I really don't know why she didn't win the best um, actress award at the Oscars because she really deserved it. Number two, all the other actors, Doug Jones, Shannon, uh, Octavia, Strahlberg, Jenkins, uh, Deltor had a brilliant cast with him. Number three, the music by Alexandre is hauntingly exquisite. Number four, the visuals are so soothing and brilliant that you almost want to merge into them, you know, especially those underwater sequences. Everything about the movie is enchanting and enigmatic from um, the dark rundown apartment where Giles and um, Eliza lives um, uh, to the music. I especially love Giles' apartment. Giles is um, incidentally Eliza's neighbor whom she's best friends with. Um, it's so messy at the same time it's so arty because he's an artist and you know there are these haunting sketches of the creature and eliza that he had sketched and which was strewn all around the apartment the shape of water is also a paradox in the essence like you know just when you go oh so sweet you know so exquisite you know suddenly comes another scene where there's a lot of gore and blood and violence which is so typical of del toro style uh, number seven, each frame and shot is a work of art, especially the underwater ones. Uh, I think I said that before, but you know, hey, I, I just can't stop raving about it. Number eight, um, the closing lines by Rumi, which finally gave meaning to everything. It goes something like, unable to perceive the shape of you, I find you all around me. Your presence fills my eyes with your love. It humbles my heart for you are everywhere.